Okay, guys. I have been up for 28 hours. So my hair is a little wild. I don't have any makeup on. Like, at all. So, I'm going to look like a wild woman. Um, all of these books I'm going to show you are free. I really thought I was wasting my time when I was filling out the forms for this. Because I've done this before. <laughs> like, a few years ago I did. And I was given an email saying that you couldn't do this. So, but I did it anyway. So I was like, just in case. And when I came home today, after like going shopping after work, um, there <laughs> was a huge, like the male people, you know how they have those bins? Yeah, the whole thing was full of boxes. And I was like, oh my gosh, they actually sent them to me. Um, and it is, let me get one that, that you can see here. Harlequin. So, you can uh, request free books if you don't know that already. Um, I've done it several times. I have never had this happen before, though. I've always been told that I couldn't do this. I literally requested books from almost every single genre. Um, almost. Not quite. There was some of them. I looked at some of the books and I was like, ah, I don't want them. But, uh. And I'm not a big, huge romance person. Like, I'll read them if I have them, but I actually prefer mystery and now young adult. So, but, you know, these are free. I will read them. They will be great for reading, like, outside by the pool or whatever. So, I'm just going to show you what I got. Like I said, they're all free. I still can't get over that. So, this is a Love Inspired Historical. Um, it's Courting the Enemy by Renee Ryan. So I think this is um, Love Inspired I think is Christian. And I actually think I used to have a subscription to Love Inspired but I cannot remember. And I kind of got tired of them because they all kind of sound the same after a while. This is another Love Inspired and this is Oklahoma Reunion by Tina Radcliffe. This is another Love Inspired. The Rancher's Return by Carolyn Arson, I guess is how you say that. This is American Romance and it's Rancher and Protector by Pamela Britton. And I'm guessing this is like a series or something. I don't know. But it's Men of the West. This is another American romance. It's Colorado Cowboy by C.C. Coburn. And it is also Men of the West. And this is from the... the um, well, I guess they're not really genres. I don't know exactly what they're categorized as but this is the desire line of books I don't know um it's also billionaires and babies I don't know how they categorize these they're like all broke down desires billionaires and babies I don't know but it is billionaires jet set babies and it's Catherine by Catherine Mann so I don't know how you categorize these but whatever this is also a desire and it is a win-win proposition by Cat Shield. And this is Intrigue. And I'm thinking this is a mystery book or suspense or something. Um, and it's Brothers in Arms, so I guess that's another category. And it is Mountain Ranger Recon. And it's by... Bleh, I can't talk. Carol Erickson. Half the time these books are like, you know, so-so. They're not the greatest books in the world, but they're quick reads. This is also an intrigue book, and it's another category of shivers. I don't know. I've never even heard of this one, shivers, before. Now, I have heard of Billionaires and Babies and Brothers in Arms, but I've not heard of this one. And it's Waterford... Waterford Point 
by Elena Matthews. Looks like she's pregnant. She's holding her belly. This is a love inspired historical and it is Rocky Mountain Homecoming by Pamela Neeson. Nissen? Nissen? I don't know. And um, this is th this is a romance book. It's a Virgin River novel. It's called Sunrise Point by Robin Carr. I had to look this one over. Now this one's a little bit thicker. I know I didn't show you guys the other ones, but if you know they're normal books, they're usually pretty thin. So this one's a little bit thicker. So that's a little different. And this is also a romance. It's uh, Summer Days, a full gold's romance, a fool's gold romance. So it must be the category. Um, Summer Days by Susan Mallory. And this is another one that's a little bit thicker because these one, oh no, never mind. Never mind, I'm wrong. But that one is a little bit thicker. This is the Regency. It's historical Regency. Um, the Copeland Sisters. See what I'm saying? Like there's all sorts of categories within one book. And this is the Lady Gambles. And it's by Carol Mortimer. But I don't know if you can see all the different things. Like on the side it tells you it's it's a historical it tells you it's the regency um and then it tells you it's the copeland sisters <laughs> like seriously i can't keep up with all this this is also a regency one historical regency and it is courting miss valoy by gail whitaker so And this one is heartwarming. I guess that's a category. And it is Hearts Entwined by Roz Denny Fox. And this one's a little bit thicker too. Maybe not quite as thick as the other two that I said were really thick. And this is also a heartwarming one. And it is Speaking of Love by Lynette Kent. So this one's just like the last one that I showed you. And then this is a love inspired suspense, Point Blank Protector by Stephanie Newton. And this is also from the category or series Emerald Coast 911. And this is a love inspired suspense and um, it's called Duty to Protect by Roxanne Rustand, and it must be from the series Big Sky Secrets. They all seem to come from a series. I haven't read any of these type of books in a really long time. Um, this is Nocturne, and I'll be honest, I don't even know why I bought these. I'm so not into this kind of stuff. Um, it's Nocturne, and the series is Sons of Midnight. The name is Truth About Vampires, and it is by Teresa Myers. And this just does not, like, interest me at all. I might try, try to read it, but it's a little bit of a thicker one, too. It's not like one of the really tiny ones. And this is another one from The Nocturne, and it is called The Shadow Wolf by Bonnie Vanak. And it says there's a bonus story included. I just, I don't know. I might try to read these. We'll see. And the, I love these type of books because they're like so thin and they're so easy to read. This is um, from the romance collection or whatever. I don't know what you call it. It's Friends to Forever by Nikki Logan. And it's so short. This is like one of those ones that you could read through really, really quickly. And the next one is a romance one as well, and it's The Boss's Surprise Son by Teresa Carpenter. And super romance. 
um, Summer Sad Stories. I don't know if that's maybe like a series. It's called Her Great Expectations by Joan Kilby. And the next one is a super romance as well. Because of Jane. And it's by Lenora Worth. Did you just hear what I said? <laughs> I think I just said Worth instead of Worth. Yeah. My brain and mouth are not working. Oh, this is a larger print. Oh, I know why. This category was only under larger print. It wasn't offered otherwise. Um, this is a medical romance. I guess that's the category. The Fiance He Can't Forget by Caroline Anderson. And this is also a medical romance. And it's Dr. Devereux's proposal by Margaret McDonough. But McDonough, but McDonough. I don't know. I've seen this name before. Not her name, but the last name for, but I honestly don't know how you say it. This is um, one of the presents category. And I don't even know how to say this. Ducasis Apprentice? I don't know. Sarah Morgan. It's by Sarah Morgan. Yeah, I don't know how you say that. This is another Presents. And it's uh, An Inconvenient Obsession by Natasha Tate. These are so like summer reads by the pool. Yeah, that's what I see them as. This is a Silhouette. The Special Edition. Um... And it's The Millionaire's Wish by Abigail Strom. I need to hurry up. This is also special edition, The Virgin and Zach Coulter, Coulter, I guess, by Lois Faye Dyer. And I'm guessing the series is Big Sky Brothers? I don't know. That's what it says, so. And I, I just like the way this looks. Um, it is a mystery and it's from the series a Sharon Howard mystery and it's called last dance by Joyce and Jim Levine and I don't know I just like this it's kind of like abstract and this is also a mystery and it's a Dana Sloan mystery and it's called the master plan by Carol Costa And this is a romance, and it's a Virgin River novel, which I have another one. It's not this one, but it's in the same series. It's Hidden Summit by Robin Carr. This is one of the thicker ones. And I have two of these. Um, I guess it came in two different packs. Uh, this is Midnight Fear. So I don't really know what this is, and it's by Leslie Tentler. So I'm thinking maybe this is a mystery or suspense or something along the lines of that. It doesn't tell me. I have another one. And this one, oh my gosh, I gotta hurry. This is, I don't know what it is either. I'm guessing it's a mystery. The Girl Who Disappeared Twice by Andrea Kane. This is a Blaze one. Um, it's In Good Hands, Kathy Lyons. Uh, this is also a blaze, and it's Inevitable um, by Michelle Rowan, and it says Forbidden Fantasy, so I don't know if that's like a series. And this is a romantic suspense, and Small Town Scandals, I guess that's the series. Uh, Millionaire's Last Stand, L. Kennedy. And this is also a romantic suspense, and The Kelly Legacy, I'm guessing, is the series. Name is Cowboy Under Siege, and it is by Gail Barrett. And that is it. So, go check it out if you want to. I'll post the link. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.